Hey everyone, so I have an empties video for you. I thought I wouldn't have one a month, but it seems that one, I sort of get through a lot of products really quickly, and two, um, I have a lot of fails actually, things that I can't finish, and I sort of put them in this one. But there's a whole bag here, look at this, full of stuff. So I'll go through the things that I can, and I'm going to give you a review of um, the items that I have used or disliked or I'm getting rid of and I'll try and be as quick as I can but I would like to give more of an in the whole point of this is to give you an in-depth review of the items if I didn't like them for whatever reason or if they've gone off it will just be a show and a, and a get rid of so um, first of all it's not a makeup item but it is a box and I've gone through two of these now and I'm on my third one this is the intensely butter mint twinings tea it still smells of it and um, I've really enjoyed this so it was Becky from Talk Becky Talk she was talking about these and I just wanted to try them what I really like about these is after a meal these are such a good one palette cleanser but two I feel like because of the peppermint in the in the tea it settles my stomach and I do sometimes have quite bad stomach problems so um i would definitely recommend these if you like that sort of um butter mint uh what would they call murray mints flavor these are really good now it's obviously not as strong as murray mints the smell is but as soon as you drink it it's much more of a um a, a subtle flavor but i really enjoy it so if you're a fan of tea these are caffeine free um, but they're very, very nice, and I would have these in replace of any tea. I really enjoyed them. Next up, um, this is the L'Occitane um, Ultra Rich Hand and Body Wash. Now, we didn't use this as a body wash. We just used it as a hand wash because, actually, it's not a big bottle at all. This was a, I don't know, a 300ml bottle. Um, it's got 5% shea milk in it, and it's... Good. It's a hand wash and it has that lovely L'Occitane um, scent in the Shea Butter range which is very clean, almost like baby powder scent, uh, one of my favourite smells. Um, and it was lovely, I don't think it made my hands any softer than ordinary soap that's got like moisturiser in it. Um, because anything that foams up usually takes away the moisture from your hands, so you ought to use a hand moisturiser on top of anything that you use here. So um, I do love this. Would I repurchase it? No, it was just something that we used with our last of our Euros at the Paris airport, so, uh, not airport, train station. So um, no, I wouldn't, it's quite expensive. It was about 14, 15 Euros. Um, I don't know if that, it might even be the same in pounds, so it's quite a lot for a hand wash. But it was okay, if you're into your L'Occitane, this is a good product to have. Um, I have two of these, and I actually have one on the way out as well. Um, I, I have been using these because these were in the bathroom, so I've got this Radox Muscle Soak, which was a blue um, one, and then Radox Stress Relief, which is the green one. And it's that lovely bergamot, um, rosemary eucalyptus scent if you've ever smelt radox before it has such a beautiful um relaxing clean smell about it did it make my muscles feel better did it stress relieve i don't know it was a bath so i sort of think there's surplus to requirement the names because that's what you do um for me, unfortunately, they don't bubble a lot, but that's our water. It isn't, nothing bubbles, even bubble bars, they just don't bubble very much because our water pressure isn't very much high. So nothing really makes the bubbles, but um, they are very delicate on your skin. They make you feel soft when you come out, which I really like. Um, yeah, I do love baths and I finished these up and I've got um, one that's a relaxing one at the moment. It's got lavender in it and I'm using that a bit more. Speaking of Radox, this is the two-in-one shower and shampoo, eucalyptus and citrus oil. It smells exactly like the, the, bath, the bath, bubble bath. And um, they are so nice, these ones. And we found some from Aldi, which are basically the same, but they're not Radox. They're Aldi's own brand. And they smell identical. They do the same job. I do think that shower gel is shower gel. 
However, I know a lot of people like the um, original source shower, shower gels and I really don't like them. I always feel they leave a bit of a, a dry feeling to my skin, but these make my skin feel really soft. Okay, let's carry on. Gosh, this is really hard. There's so much stuff in here. Um, this, um, this is the Osmo Intensive Deep Repair Mask. So I've got the Osmo Sulfate Free Shampoo, which is specifically for coloured hair, but because my hair is curly, you shouldn't really use anything with sulfates in. This hair mask is potentially the most amazing hair mask I've ever used. I used to put this in leave for a few minutes and it would, I have really, really knotty hair. It goes extremely knotty. I get almost dreadlocks in the back. Um, and it's mainly because I try not to wash it all the time. I do put it up in a ponytail a lot. And I think that obviously creates the knot effect. Um, and um, this is the best thing. And I really want to get another one. I was given this from um, my partner's sister because she couldn't use it. It was too thick for her hair. But for me, it was absolutely perfect. And I really can't wait to find another one. I would definitely, definitely repurchase this. I haven't, but I will do, definitely. That is in my to-do pile. Um, I didn't say whether I'd repurchase some of the radar stuff, but yeah, probably, because it's not, it's not mega expensive or anything. Anyway, so this is the um, Soap and Glory, the Righteous Butter with Softening Shea Butter, Aloe Vera, um, and it just smells, I quite like the smell, I'm not sure. It's a very odd smell, if you've ever smelled any of their stuff, it's, I don't know what it is that makes it smell, maybe it's the aloe vera. Um, I've really scraped it out the lid as well, um, although that was a bit harder because it had <laughs> gone funny, but I loved this. I think this is a great body butter. I've never raved about any of their, um, products before this is for very dry skin and I have very dry skin I get eczema here and that's sort of cleared up it's still a bit dry but it's sort of cleared up and that will be down to this um, my elbows get really dry but they're really really soft at the moment and that is all down to this and I'm really gutted that I finished what's great about this is you can use it once um, and if you shower you can still feel it moisturizing you and all do it through the day it just you feel like you're being moisturized constantly it doesn't leave a residue though you just feel soft all the time i really like this if you like the body butters from the body shop i would say this is better would i repurchase it i don't know um i got this in that you know the big christmas box that you get yearly from boots that was in this and i really enjoyed it and i do have so many other body um, lotions to get through however I think I much prefer body butters to lotions now the body butters that I've got some of them I've got they're not as thick as this and the body shop ones they don't sink in as quickly so whether I'm going to I don't know I may repurchase this it is so nice and I think I put it in a favorites because I really really enjoyed it and I got through it so quickly so I'm looking for empties, you see, a lot of these are fails, so um, I'm going to find some empties. As usual, I have my Gorgeous Curls by Naked Style and my um, Curl Defining Spray by Charles Worthington. These are always in here, there's a tiny bit in the bottom, but it just doesn't come up. I usually just take off the lid and then pour it into the new one because it, it seems to make it just kind of, you're not wasting any then there is a little bit in here actually i can now feel it it's really weird when i'm trying to squeeze it out i can't get any out but there's always a little bit left and what i maybe should do is cut off the tops because it is such a waste however i did manage to find these on poundshop.com for a pound each instead of 4.39 and i bought 10 and they're still on there so i i would definitely go and check them up uh, check them out poundshop.com they're worth it they are brilliant for curly hair they keep my curls soft and defined and beautiful but they have to be in conjunction with the spray otherwise either one doesn't work on its own but together they work really well and i use them once a month at least um so yeah i love those two products and they are my holy grail curl products um another empty is the garnier softening toner tones and softens skin softens skin I know that because I use a micellar or micellar water um, that I don't need to use a toner but I, for some reason I feel like my skin isn't quite 
clean until I've used a toner before I put on a face oil. My routine is micellar water, toner, face oil, serum and moisturiser slash um, primer. At the moment my moisturiser acts as a primer, it's really good, it's the Embryolose, Embryolise uh, Creme Lay Concentrate which is just amazing if you haven't used it. Um, but this I think is a really good toner, it smells really nice. Um, if you're not careful it could sting your eyes but it's not so bad but it's suitable for sensitive skin and I agree um, and it's a lot better than another toner that I've been using and had to I'm still not so keen on it um, oh <laughs> another one of these um, I really do get through them um, I also got through this L'Oreal gentle makeup eye remover um, this is not one of the dual phase ones but I actually really like this for non waterproof mascara and it worked really really well I don't really wear waterproof mascara so I don't really need the oil based ones although one that I do have is amazing and it gets off everything but I, this was the only one I could use with those mascaras that sort of crisp up on your eyelashes this sort of dampened it enough and was so sensitive literally you could just pour it in your eyes and it wouldn't hurt and I felt like this really worked for me now a lot of people don't really like it um, I really liked the bottle as well it's quite a nice uh, just kind of thing to get the water out um, I did like it um, but I would I repurchase it I don't know I've got a lot of them to get through I've had some minis and I've had some um, I've got a couple of a couple of them that I want to get through now um, the one that I need to get through and I'm just really not enjoying and I know it's a lot of people's holy grail is the buy for seal by Lancome I just don't get on with it whatsoever and it's such a shame but yeah this one's really it is good and I might repurchase it in the future um, I've got a couple of samples here that I was given, and these were given to Claire from Lush. One is the Big Liquid Shampoo and the other is the Veganese Liquid Conditioner. These did not work for Claire whatsoever. They certainly won't work for me because they're salt based and I have curly hair so I wouldn't even try and put them on. As soon as I put them on I, my hair would just go terrible. This did not work for Claire at all and a lot of people say it works for them, it boosts their kind of volume in their hair. But it is literally just a salt, it's almost like a salt scrub that you put in your hair. Um, it's, I can understand the, the kind of theory behind it, but we didn't really understand how, it just made your hair feel really horrible, really straw-like. I would not recommend these for my hair, curly hair, or for anybody with hair like Claire's. And she's got quite thin hair, but it just didn't work for her at all. So this is a no-no, not, not whatsoever. So they are a fail. In fact, the rest that I have in here are fails. Um, there are no more empties. Oh, no, there is another empty. I lied. There's a few, actually. I thought I was done. The Botanics Facial Oil. Goodness me, there's a hair on there. 100% um, organic with rose hip. A nourishing rose hip this is my second bottle I've actually bought a um, Avon one now this this was six pounds something and it's gone up to 9.95 and I know that's only a few pound more but it's such a small bottle it's 25 mils instead of 30 so you're sort of not getting the same amount as most other products and it, it just went really quickly and I'm quite gutted I do love this it is such a good product but the one that I got, which was from the something spa range of Avon, is amazing. So, and it's only £2.10 if you get it at the right time. I may just continue using that oil because I really enjoy it. I don't have any breakouts with it. In fact, it makes my skin really even, the same as this one does. It does the same thing. There's more in that bottle than there is in this one. If I run out of that Avon one and I can't get it again, then I may well purchase this one again or if it's on offer. But I certainly won't be repurchasing it at 9.95. I'm gutted they've put the price up. I think it's I think that is a con. So I'm gutted about the price because I definitely would be repurchasing it if it wasn't that high. Um, I also used six of these sachets. This is the Vichy Lift Active Supreme. Uh, God, progressive anti-wrinkle and firmness, correcting care, normal to combination skin, paraben free. They gave me a seven day trial of this. Actually, it lasted a lot longer because there were three applications per one sachet so it lasted me about three weeks um it was okay I didn't feel like it was 
life-changing but it was good um but i have cheaper alternatives that i will be probably purchasing and um, the other thing i've got here is the essay lauder advanced night repair and um, i really do i know a lot of people don't but i like to try these sachets i cut the top off i keep them um somebody taught me to put a hair grip over the top you kind of fold it over and put a hair grip um, and that keeps them together so they don't go funny. I didn't like this. It's meant to be, it's like £80 a bottle, but it was so oily. And I use oil on my face, but this just made my skin feel horrible. And um, yeah, I really won't ever buy that. Um, so it's a shame. I think it's just too intensive for my skin. And I've got dry skin. So yeah, it's a shame really. I wish I could recommend that. But I had a few sachets. They gave me a few and I did give it a good try but it's definitely not for me. At this point in my life, I just don't think it, it works for me. Okay, let me just check that that is definitely the end of my uh, kind of... Yeah, I think that's it now. I have now got a lot of fails, which I will... Oh no, one more empty. Oh, how funny. This is amazing. I'm gutted I finished it. This is the Talica Photo Hydra Day. Um, this came in a my little box I'll just show you a bit more close this is it says face specific hydration and basically it is a moisturizer it's a day moisturizer but it says it's more than just a moisturizer and um, it's the first cream to use energy from natural light to delve into skin deep into skin and moisturize it I don't know whether that was the case because I, did, I suppose I didn't really go out much because well not in the, there wasn't a lot of sunshine when I was using this it lasted a really long time it the whole thing I used the whole thing it was 30 mils and it was such a good moisturiser. Um, it was light. It was very, very light consistency, almost a gel. It felt really lovely going on. My skin felt moisturised. I wouldn't say it was like, I don't know how to explain it. It was just such a nice day cream. It was good for underneath a primer. I wouldn't use it as a primer though, like the Embryolase. Um, but that I mean, they're, they're very different. The Embryolase, or however you say it, is a lot thicker consistency and it is a three-in-one. And I believe that, you know, because of that, it's, it, it does work as a primer and, I, and it definitely works as a primer. I think my makeup has looked flawless since I started using it. Um, but this is really good. Would I repurchase it? I think it's quite expensive and it is a, I don't know where I can purchase it in the UK. If I got another sample of it, or if anybody has a sample that they don't want, that they got in their My Little Box, I would happily have it off you. I really, really liked this. Um, if you haven't tried this and you've been kind of putting it off, don't put it off any longer. It's such a good one. I try everything from my boxes. I try all my sachets, all my samples. I do travel a lot, so I use a lot of the smaller samples for traveling. Um, but this is such a great, great brilliant moisturizer day moisturizer okay that definitely is now it for sort of the stuff that i've um I'm, I'm getting rid of so i want to kind of before i chuck all of this in the bin um i've been asked not to chuck that in the bin i want to show you some fails which is a shame really um fail number one and i'm throwing away because i really hate it is this it's like a detangler it's like the um what's that brush called Oh, I can't remember, you know, what it, it's basically like this. It looks a bit like those bristles. Does not work in my hair. I don't know why I was thinking it might do. Um, it doesn't work in my hair at all. Uh, um, this is the Michael Mercier Professional Tangle Teaser. That's it. It's similar to a Tangle Teaser. It isn't a Tangle Teaser, but it's similar. I got this in TK Maxx. Thought it might be good for my hair, but it just is useless. Useless. Another fail which I'm throwing away and I absolutely hate it. Why I bought it, I don't know. This is the Dream Flawless Nude Fluid Touch Foundation. This is in Ivory 010. And I'm not kidding, but I am so pale. And this is the darkest colour for... Look, it's, it's so dark. Um... I like the consistency of it. It goes from a, a kind of liquid into a powder. Really lovely coverage, but I mean, it's just orange on me and um, it's not really showing on the camera how orange it really is, but it's just the wrong color. For some reason, Maybelline does not do a porcelain 
and if they did I would buy a lot of their foundations but all of them are just too dark the only one I really find that I can get away with um, the Revlon color stay the Rimmel lusting finish anything that's the lightest color but oh, this is just I mean you can see how dark it looks in the tube it's just the wrong color um, and I mean it's not old if you want it, I suppose if you sent me postage, I could send it to you if you are a fan. I have heard it's a dupe for the, um, what was it called? The YSL Fusion Ink. Um, Mrs. Ginger from Mrs. Ginger's channel did say that it was a dupe for that. So if you want your hands on it, I'll keep it to one side and you can, you can have it. But just send me postage. I don't need any payment for it. I'm not really fussed. It's only going in the bin otherwise. Um, another fail, well actually they're not, well they are fails, they, oh, it's a shame really. So I've got an argan oil and a macadamia oil hair treatment and they're really horrible, they do not work. I've got a keratin, a Brazilian keratin treatment that I use in my hair, literally just an oil <clears throat> and it's by Natural World. You can get it in quite a few places. Um, these are, I mean these are just from like cheapy shops, uh, but they're not nice. I don't like them in the hair they sort of dry my hair out I wonder if they've got sulfates in and that's why they are just both of them aren't very nice at all so they're a, a fail um this I will never use it's a nourish and renew tonic with tea tree extract and sunflower seed oil I, I just I'll never use it I got it in a beauty box I don't like tresemme for my hair um Mm, it smells nice. It smells really nice. I'm sure somebody would want it. I may actually just put it up for sale somewhere because I'm never going to use it. It's it's a no for me. Um, these eyelashes are the self adhesive ones. I got them for a pound, and oh, they're not good. They're not good at all. Um, they're really nice and wispy and natural. And now that I've actually got some glue maybe they'll look nice but it's the pre-glued lashes they're just it doesn't feel right when you're putting them on but now that i've actually got some glue maybe that will make them better because they are nice and natural which i really like um hmm maybe i'll rethink getting rid of those <laughs> now i'm trying to keep everything i'm such a hoarder um there are a few other bits in here but they're literally just old makeup that has been in my drawer for such a long time um, a lot of Arbonne little products that I just won't use because I've had them for too long. Um, a couple of nail, kind of nails I got from Primark. I won't use them. Um, I've not used them in a long time. And yeah, uh, that's sort of it really. So, sorry it's been a long video. Let me know what you think. Have you tried any of the products that I have enjoyed? Have you tried any that I haven't enjoyed? Let me know if you want to get your hands on anything that I said I'm going to throw away. Do it quickly because I probably will throw it away. Um, and give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video. Comment below if you wish and subscribe if you'd like to as well. I look forward to seeing you in my next video.